Hi everyone, my name is Alexis Smith and I manage our developer partner program here at Definity. Welcome to the Building on the Internet Computer Fundamentals series. In this 10 part series, we'll walk you through the process step by step of building and deploying your first app on the internet computer. We'll focus on Motoko basics, canister architecture, navigating front end frameworks, and finally deploying your first project to the internet computer. Before we get started, you might be asking yourself, why should I build on the internet computer in the first place? To understand what's so great about the internet computer, it helps to think back on the history of the internet and why it was created in the first place. When the internet was invented, it provided connectivity and the ability to transmit information. What the internet was not created to do is to store and secure large amounts of data as it does today or host complex software systems. In order to build things like websites, apps, and enterprise systems, developers had to invent all kinds of new layers to the tech stack and tools like databases, CDNs, and firewalls. Unfortunately, with this growing complexity, the tech stack became very complex, costly, and as we all know too well, is still prone to hacks. While the complexity of the tech stack built on top of the internet continued to grow, the opportunity for innovation for entrepreneurs and developers has actually started to shrink. The internet that was once a vibrant, collaborative ecosystem has now come under the control of a few large corporations. Tech monopolies control not only the software that's built on top of the internet, but the actual infrastructure running the software itself. The internet has essentially been hijacked from all sides. The power that these large tech companies hold has led to the phenomenon known as platform risk. There are countless examples of how platform risk has impacted entrepreneurs, with the rug being pulled out from under them as tech companies take away access to APIs or use their power and resources to steal and replicate ideas from potentially competitive startups. We here at Definity are committed to solving these very problems. The internet computer is basically an extension of the internet that allows you to build, deploy, and host software directly on the internet without things like databases or third-party cloud providers. The internet computer simplifies the tech stack and the developer experience itself, allowing developers to focus on what really matters, which is building great products for their users. The internet computer enables what we like to call open internet services. Open internet services look and feel a lot like the apps and software that we all use today, but behind the scenes, there's a network of canisters that are speaking to each other on the internet computer. As you'll learn later in the series, canisters are powerful computation units, very similar to software containers, microservices, or smart contracts that contain both code and state. Building open internet services enables new software to be built, such as permanent APIs, self-governing systems, and open and interoperable apps. We are so happy that you are on this learning journey with us, and we look forward to supporting you and the next generation of developers and entrepreneurs in building on the internet computer. We can't wait to see what you'll build.